Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a uh, quick kind of get ready with me, even though I'm pretty much almost done. <laughs> um, so today I am actually going to go for a sort of like audition casting kind of thing. Um, now with COVID-19, a lot of clients are doing virtual events as opposed to physical events. So a friend of mine runs the A-Life group and I'm gonna pop over there to do a bit of an audition. So I just have to uh, prepare a couple of lines to deliver to the screen. I'm gonna show you guys around when I get there, but essentially instead of your uh, physical backdrop, they've created a virtual one, which looks really realistic. And I know I gotta start looking in this direction. I'm so not used to uh, vlogging yet on my iPhone, but um, Hopefully the quality turns out all right. So that's my plan for today. I'm gonna to head in there for a quick audition and then I'm gonna come home and I have plenty of work to do. Every day I'm trying to do some Chinese um, homework as well. So my plan is to continuously churn out new vocabulary that I've learned. So if you're also on your Mandarin learning journey, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be sure to post more updates on my learning journey as I progress. And uh, hopefully we can grow and learn together. I will also be having my Grow With Nadia series every Friday evening. So every Friday I kind of interview somebody who is an inspiration to me or someone who I can learn from, which in turn um, I hope you find beneficial as well. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly top up my concealer here. This is the beauty blender that I bought from Sephora a while ago, but it's kind of like cracked. Um, let's see, I think it's all right though, for the most part. So now I've just got to curl my hair real quick. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm using, these are the Zuva. Oh, this might be Bobbi Brown actually. Yeah, this might be the Bobbi Brown brush that my sister got me a while ago. Um, yeah, my makeup routine is pretty much similar every day. I, I don't really do anything new. But I gotta say, using my camera like this really helps to um, see what it's gonna look like um, on camera. Because sometimes when you look in the mirror, I find that it's it's not very represent doesn't it's not very good representation of what it will look like and translate on screen, right? So normally for anything on screen, you actually need to go a bit more um, sort of a bit more bolder. So this is what I'm using uh, for my cheeks, by the way. This is from Tarte. It's called. Hotel Heiress. I think Gabby got it for me. Thanks, Gabby. I love this color. I remember someone looking at it and they're like, you use this on your cheeks. It's supposed to be a bronzer. I don't know. I love it though. I like this whole kind of sun-kissed natural look rather than anything too pinky. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly top up for my lips. This is from By Terry. It's sort of like a little gloss. And, uh, as you can see, I don't have my retainers on. I am planning on doing a YouTube video on my um, Invisalign journey. If you guys are interested, let me know. I will definitely do a video on that because there were quite a few things that I didn't know when I tried it, um, but I'm really glad that I got my teeth sorted. Okay, so I'm gonna go curl my hair. I'll show you guys around once I get to the venue after this and uh, take you through my entire day. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be my first time driving in three months and it's kind of strange. All right, I'm gonna show you guys when I get to the venue. So I just got here in one piece. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been so long since I've driven. And of course I've got my mask on um, at the security guard house. They asked for my details. So I have my mask, I've got my sanitizer because I had to put my details in with a pen. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head upstairs. I will show you guys around. So I'm here where the A-Life group has been filming. This is Howard Hi. and Andy. Hello. The big, the big boss, the big no. boss. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we basically just did a short uh, virtual video shoot as sort of like an audition. And uh, hopefully once it's up, maybe I get to share with you guys. And with that, we wrap up another fantastic show. Thank you so much on behalf of A-Life Group for joining us. We hope that you have enjoyed yourself just as much as we've enjoyed having you. And with that in mind, I'm Nadia Hang signing off. Until the next time. So I 
just got home and uh, had a shower. Still have my makeup on though. I left it on because I thought maybe I'd do some videos. Um, but I managed to get cream on my fingers. But thank you so much, Andy and Howard, for the awesome birthday cake. Even though it's a little bit belated, I really appreciate it. And the reason why I'm talking so softly is because my husband is working in the next room. So anyway, I'm going to continue this video shortly in my room. back home again and uh, I thought I would just do a little wrap-up video I know this is a really random uh, video with kind of content all over the place but I just thought I would do a little day in the life spontaneously because uh, I finally got a little editing software for my phone which I have started using and I think it's gonna make vlogging a lot more pleasurable and just easier to keep up on a consistent and hopefully maybe not a daily basis but at least a weekly basis and um, I thought I'd wrap up today by just sharing my thoughts on stepping out of the house and actually getting into the car and driving for the first time in three months. It's insane. Um, it felt so surreal being in, um, being in the car because on the one hand, obviously it's like riding a bike. You remember how to do it. But on the other hand, it's, you, I gotta keep reminding myself, it's been three months since I last was in the driver's seat. And yet, the, the minute I open the door, it's like, it could have just as well been yesterday. Um, but I have to say, I'm gonna miss a few things. She says, as she sips on her green tea. Um, I really enjoyed actually being at home during this entire restrained movement order because my nature of work is that I'm constantly on the go, I'm constantly traveling, I'm constantly out for events almost every other day. And since we've moved into this house, I don't think I've spent more than a two week stretch at a time just being at home. So for me, it's actually been a really fulfilling and wholesome experience, which I know is a real privilege because there are so many people who are struggling um, at this point in time and COVID-19 has wiped out jobs. It's wiped out, um, you know, people, people are, people have to struggle to make a living to put food on the table, you know? And so that is not, um, you know, that is something that I think about a lot and I almost feel guilty being at home and actually enjoying this time at home because, you know, I know that there are people out there who don't have this privilege to do so. And I do want to say that, of course, for anyone who's saying, you know, well, in that case, maybe you can help people. And I do. Um, I just want you to know that, yes, I do. I do make a conscious effort to help. Um, and I do charity in my own ways, which I don't necessarily share publicly on social media. But yes, I am doing my part, just so you know. Um, so, yes, but it doesn't change the fact that I, you know, it's it's crazy it's a crazy time that we are living in and on the one hand I'm really excited that the economy is slowly opening up sector by sector because that's what people need you know even though COVID-19 is a crisis but also not having any income to feed your family to put food on the table um, for a family of one or two or, or five you know can you imagine what that must be like so I think it's so important that the economy slowly opens up sector by sector, but I think it begs the question, like, what are we doing? Like, is this how we are gonna continue to live our lives in this world? You know, is this how, like, are we doing things right? Is this how it should be? Because it seems to me that there's a big gap in, um, in what really needs to be done and what really needs to be addressed. I feel like opening up the economy is a band-aid solution and as a society, we need to really reevaluate how we do things. Um, it's just, there are just too many people left vulnerable in a situation like this. Um, and obviously I don't have the answers. N no one really has those answers at this point. But um, I just thought I would share my thoughts with all of you on that uh, somber note, I suppose. 
Um, but let me know what your thoughts are. Are you glad that the economy is opening up? Do you think that certain things are being done too soon? I know that people go back to school next week. Uh, cinemas will be opening in July and um, for the most part, there'll be gatherings as well here in Malaysia for up to 250 people. And as much as I'm excited, I guess I'm still being a little bit cautious as well. Um, and for me personally, I'm gonna continue implementing all the safety measures that I know and can think of. So wherever I go, I'm still gonna be wearing my mask. I'm gonna be carrying my hand sanitizer with me. Um, and I'm just gonna be cautious about social gatherings and um, trying to be responsible in the events that I do attend and trying to keep it mostly work-related. Yeah, let me know your take on things. I look forward to hearing from you. That's it for this video. I will be back with more, hopefully, very soon. And my plan is to do videos on my journey for learning Mandarin, my fitness journey, as well as uh, public speaking. As some of you may know, I've launched my public speaking masterclass. If you're interested, feel free to drop a note in the comments and I'll try and come up with little tidbits for you. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one training, just head over to my website. It's www.nadiaheng.com for more information. All right, with that, it's me, Nadia Heng, signing off. I'll see you in my next video.